Hello and welcome to today's video and today I am doing a book haul. It's not a very like big book haul compared to some people but I want to just like show all the books that I've recently gotten and this will probably be like the last book haul I do for a while because my goal for just like now and for the next year is to read mostly all my books on my bookshelf because I'm sick of buying books and then like not reading them and like obviously it's going to be hard but I have a lot of books on my bookshelf that I'm really excited to read. So I'm just going to go through, I think it's like seven books that I just recently have purchased. I'm going to go through all of them. And yeah, I just thought this would be a good video to show you my bookshelf. This is the only bookshelf I have. I recently got into reading a year ago, so I read most of my books from the library and online. So this is my collection so far. So I'll start with the first one. The first one is It Starts With Us. Obviously, everyone knows this book. It is the second book to It Ends With Us and some people liked It Ends With Us, some people didn't like it. I really liked it when I first read it. Now that I look back on it and also have tried to reread it, the first half of the book is dreadful um, but I did really like Atlas and Lily. I really like them together and this was $8 so it was half price so it was like a really good deal and I did want to read this eventually. The only reason why I didn't get it was because of how big it was but then it was $8 so I was like you know what let's just get it. You probably know kind of what this is about but this just follows on from It Ends With Us. It is Lily and Atlas and they run into each other and they like get their number or something and they're messaging so far. I feel like I actually will really like this. I think there was a bit of Ryle in there and some people don't want Ryle in there and obviously I don't like Ryle. Like I think he should literally be away from the kid or whatever but I do think it will make the book more interesting, you know, like it'll be a bit boring if it's just like a romance. I don't know. So I'm going to put that back. And then the next one I got was Carrie Soto is Back. This was also from the Black Friday sale and it was $8 as well. So the original price was 16 so it was half price and I'm super excited to read this one. I'm just like not in the mood and I think that I'm going to read Daisy Jones and the Six before this one because the TV show is going to come out soon and I want to read Daisy Jones and the Six obviously before the TV show comes out. So this will probably be like next year sometime. It is on my 2023 TBR. I'm super excited. Carrie Soto is a character in Malibu Rising and I loved Malibu Rising. I gave it a five stars and I just really like Taylor Jenkins Reid's writing. I think it's really good and I think this will be really interesting. I am really excited to see how her character is in like her own mindset and stuff and this book also follows tennis and in Australia we have the Australian Open and during the summer and stuff it's kind of just been like a thing like my mom really likes tennis so I feel like this will actually feel really like homey like I don't really know anything about tennis but I like kind of like the vibe of tennis and like it just reminds me of summer and like the air conditioners on and like I think this will be maybe a five star read. I think she's a really strong female lead from what I saw in Malibu Rising I don't know if she's going to be good or bad, but I think she's going to be good. So hopefully she is good. Oh, and also I think there is a little bit of a romance in this book. So that will be kind of fun. And I just think Taylor Jenkins Reid's writing is just so good. I, I can't explain it. It's just so good. So I'm excited to read this. The next book that I got is The American Roommate Experiment. This was also with the Black Friday sales and I got it for half price. But the original price was $12 so I got this for $6. I live in Australia so $6 for a book is really freaking good. Also the cover's like really cute. I love this blue. I read The Spanish Love Deception and I would probably give it a three stars like now but when I first read it I liked it. I think it was way too long but this one is shorter so maybe the author kind of made this one better. I think I might like this one more because The Spanish Love Deception was more of an enemy's lovers and this one is more of a friend's lovers. All I know is that like she quits her job and she goes to like her friend's house to like stay but the friend has like a cousin who's staying there also and the cousin is a guy so they have to like share the apartment together and there's like forced proximity yeah so I actually think I really like this book and the cover is just so cute like the little pizza like 
so that's really cute so hopefully i like this the next one i got was confess now this was not with the black friday sale this was just i was at big w and i was like you know what i really want to get a book so i'm gonna get confess because i feel like some colin hoover books are really underrated i loved heartburns i think it was so good so i'm kind of hoping the same thing happens here i'm not like exactly sure what it's about but i have actually read the first couple of pages and i just remember she had like a boyfriend and he like died or something and then like a couple years later she goes like to a new country or like state or something and she is like looking at this like art gallery thing and then there's like this guy and there's artwork and it's based off people's like confessions which obviously the book's called confess so i actually liked the first couple of pages so i think this will be good i did say in my other video that it was really small and it looks like a good read and it is on my december tbr so hopefully i can get to it yeah i think i'll like it hopefully the next book that i got was addicted to you now let me just tell you something i have read the whole entire series i am currently on some kind of perfect and i have like 50 pages left and you might be wondering why did you buy this book then if you've already read it i just know that i'm going to reread it and when i have the craving to reread it i want to be able to just have the book and be able to like start reading it and annotate it and just i want a hard copy i love this series so much i only bought the first one the other one ricochet is also at big w and i was gonna buy it but i think i'm just gonna buy the first one for now especially because i feel like this series is very niche especially the books later on in the series so there may be a chance that they could go on sale and if they do i obviously want to buy them when they're a bit cheaper so i just bought the first one also there is a tiny bit of exclusive content but i already actually read it while i was in the store yeah it's not like don't buy this book just for the exclusive content like it's not worth it like i didn't have the other copy so it was perfect for me and i really like the new cover apparently the other covers are getting made over like a Addicted for now, Thrive, and Addicted After All. Apparently, they're getting made over to look like this kind of style. And I'm so excited to find out what they look like. And if you're not sure what this is about, this is about Lily and Lo. And Lily is a sex addict. And Lo is a alcoholic. And they kind of enable each other and fake date to, like, support each other's addictions in a way. And they're best friends since childhood. So it's a bit of childhood friends to lovers. If you keep reading the series, it kind of just goes through them getting better and and just heaps of things happen and it's just an amazing series down family there's just everything and it's really good so i'm glad i got this one hello i am back um i got cold so i put on a jumper and yeah so the next one that i purchased was the atlas six and this was with the black friday sale and i got this for half price so i got it for eight dollars and i just love this cover like what the hell that's so freaking pretty okay i just like zoomed in but see how it says the must read tiktok sensation or whatever even like that sticker is like aesthetic you know so i really like the cover i got it for half price obviously and i honestly think i'm gonna really like this i think I think it's like dark academia but i'm not exactly sure i do have the synopsis of like what this is about and basically each decade only six of the most uniquely talented magicians are selected to earn a place in the alexadrian society the foremost secret society in the world I hope that made sense. It kind of made sense to me, but the main point that I got from that is that it's about like magicians and it's a group of six people. I just think it's going to be really, really good. I'm just going to type up if it is Dark Academia. Yeah, it is Dark Academia. Like, this will be my first Dark Academia book. Um, and then I'm going to read If We Were Villains after this book because I think this will be like my entryway into Dark Academia. So I'm really glad I got this book. On the freaking cover it says six are chosen, only five will walk away. So there might be some plot twists. I honestly don't know, but I actually think I'm really going to like this. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get to it. The last book that my mum actually got for me for like $2 from the op shop. And I don't know if I'm going to read this one because I think it's like really boring. I think it's like known for being boring, but it has a really cute spine. And I actually don't mind the cover. Yeah, it is To Kill a Mockingbird. I don't know if I'm going to read it, like if I'm being honest, but my mum bought it for me. It was $2, so I'm not like mad about it. And also the spine is really cute on my bookshelf. If I do read it, I probably won't enjoy it. Like, I'm just going to be honest with myself. Like, 
like I didn't even ask my mum to buy this she just like saw it she's like you know I'll get it so it's just like a nice kind of thing to have it's a classic whatever so I think it's one of probably the more easier books to read that's like a classic that is actually the last book that I got recently but in my next book haul I'm hoping that I can have a big like stack of books or even just like actually like unboxing them because obviously I'm so impatient that I just unbox them and like put them straight on my bookshelf but I will try and do like an unboxing book haul in the future. I hope you enjoyed. I love books. If you love books then subscribe. I'm gonna try and get out some more content <coughs> that, that made me cringe. If you enjoyed this one so goodbye. Mm -hmm.